Um, I hate the way this looks because these are going to be huge numbers and I only have my phone as a calculator. But otherwise, I like that it's already in standard form. I can go straight for using the quadratic formula. Um, so we're going to say our A is 36. Our B, 36, what is going on, 10, is 84. And our C is 49. So the quadratic formula is going to say, oh, and I should look. If you can um, divide something out of both sides, like factor out a GCF and get rid of it, do it. It'll make your life easier. But I don't even think I have one. I see 6 times 6 for my A and 7 times 7 for my C. And there's not going to be any shared factors. So I think I'm pretty stuck. So let's see. Quadratic formula is going to solve for X. And X is going to be opposite of B negative 84, plus or minus the square root of b squared, I'm just going to write that, I'll come back to calculatoring, minus 4 times a, which is 36, times c, which is 49, all over uh, 2 times 36, which is 72. Okay, so I'm going to do some of that arithmetic. 84 squared is 7,056 negative 84. You can go ahead and just do everything under the square root now if you want to. I find that almost always if somebody's going to have a problem with the quadratic formula, it's just that they mess up the arithmetic under that square root. So just be careful about it. 4 times 36 times 49 is, oh, except I lucked out, 7,056. So I was just mentioning this discriminant business, that number under the square root tells you about how many solutions you're going to have. So we got 84 plus or minus the square root of 0, but the square root of 0 is still 0. And 84 plus, negative 84 plus 0 is negative 84. Negative 84 minus 0 is negative 84. So my answer is just negative 84 over 72. I can probably get a lot out of that. I'm thinking at least a 4. 4 goes into 84 21 times and into 72. Let me think about that. 36, 18 times. Oh, I can even do better. Those both have a 3. So I think if I did all that arithmetic correctly, that I'm getting one and only one answer, which is negative 7, 6. So again, totally valid to get only one answer. Um, and I'd like to point out that if your quadratic formula gives you nice uh, rational or integer solutions, that means that whatever you started with was, in fact, factorable. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't try and factor that, although the perfect squares maybe would have been a hint that it factors nicely into a perfect square trinomial. Um, but always, if you get nice solutions that don't have roots in them, that means you could have solved by factoring.